we've got our daybreak drawing first thing in this forecast to talk about and then we'll jump into the week ahead. I know you're all curious about those temperatures and there is some good news for us that I'm excited about. We will not be seeing a lot of sunshine though this week, so get in all the sunshine that you can from our daybreak drawing here. This one is from Luke, a second grader at Hellgate Elementary. I love the shape of the clouds in the background. If you can see them, they kind of look like waffle french fries. I like it. It's good. Good things for us this morning. I hope your Monday's off to the right start. There are some schools closed though. Speaking of second graders and uh, just schools across western Montana because of the holiday and also because of the dangerous temperatures. You may be off work because of the holiday and if you are, enjoy that because it's going to be chilly again this morning. We're still well below zero with the wind chill throughout the day. We're really not going to get above zero with the wind chill much. Tuesday, however, is a different story. Look at some of these. Tomorrow morning, 7.30 a.m., we're going back to school, back to work. Still in the negatives with the wind chill, but once we get into the afternoon and evening, we are finally out of the negatives even with the wind chill. This is Tuesday evening, so it's going to take us about another day or so today. We're still pretty chilly. Tuesday looks better the rest of the week, especially into the weekend. Look at the 40s, above average temperatures for us. The closer we get to the weekend, that's some good news. That would be really nice for us. These temperatures have just been pretty dangerous over the weekend. If that skin is exposed, you can get frostbite fairly quickly, but we've still got some trouble this morning. If you do have to head out to work or school, we're looking at fog with some high pressure. It is going to be a little bit of a short lived high pressure, though. We get a quick little low pressure trough on maybe Tuesday night into Wednesday, bringing some winter weather. The mountain passes look to get some decent snow. Even valleys maybe about one to three inches right now. I'll have snow totals though for you tomorrow once we get a little bit closer to that system and we could use some good snow totals. Here's a look at the snowpack after uh, the, the system last week as of Friday last week. This hasn't been quite updated yet over the weekend. Look at these uh, percentages. The Cooney Snow Basin is looking a little bit better, but it's these central ones still in the 30s and the 40s. We want to be in the 80s and the 90s and the 100s before we get to uh, the summer season. So we'll take this chance for snow on Wednesday. Right now, be prepping for that. It looks like a good chance, about 60% for us. Wednesday, Thursday, we reduced to about a 30%, but those temperatures keep getting better. That's the good news. Even though we've got more winter weather this week, we could use the snow and then we'll be seeing a quite war quite a bit of a warm up into Friday.